Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. So I'm back again with the custom Kramer Wally in a Box's guitar, and uh, I'm starting to do a little bit of work on it. So I ended up taking 180 grit sandpaper, putting it on my block, and starting to go over the area over here to try to knock down some of these these little drips that are going around the edge. And it took me a half an hour just to get it down this far. That's 180 grit. So, I mean, it should have cut through that pretty good. But it took a long time. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to go in the garage, fire up the DA, hit this body with 220. I need to thin out the epoxy that's on here anyways because it's it's pretty thick around the edges and stuff. Um, what I got going on over here is that uh, the side walls built up pretty big, making a good, good lip up against the... Uh, uh, masking tape that I had and once I sand the back down I'll put another coating on the back of the epoxy resin because so I can see that there's some bubbling and this is what I mean about the white spots you get these little white spots in where the bubbles are that will get rid of all that when I hit it with the epoxy and the epoxy will end up turning that into clear again so I'm not worried about it and even when sanding this thing down and stuff and putting the epoxy on there uh, it doesn't phase it. You're not going to see sanding marks. You're not going to see uh, the fading. You're not going to see how dull it is. It's going to come back just as shiny as it is now. The front of this thing came out pretty much perfect. The exception of I have to draw out these holes, cut the slot over here, and I got to knock this top down quite a bit because it is pretty heavy and pretty thick on there. So I'm going to thin that out as well. But everything else, it's just it's nice it came out really really good so I got my sanding dust over here from sanding this thing and uh, yeah I can't do much with it by hand I'm gonna have to use the DA on it so went through my box of stuff that I have I found a battery box well actually I found several battery boxes that I ordered a long time ago so this is a 9 volt battery box you open it up 9 volt goes inside there and I'm gonna end up putting this thing probably right about here pretty damn close to the controls over here because I got to drill a hole going this way into the box for the wiring so this is going to get a battery box on it right now I'm going to mask it off where the battery box is going to go and I'm going to start cutting the hole out for that and I'm going to be using a Dremel to do it not a router so I need to get my tape and I need to outline where this thing is going now hopefully these bumps and stuff is not going to get in the way with the routing. So I'm going to get this thing as close as possible. And pretty straight too. So I'm going to make this nice and even so it doesn't look like it's awkward. I'm going to use my masking tape here for my tape outlines. Put that right up against there close to it. And you know what? What I'm going to do is, do I have a square down here? Ah, uh, no. Well, I guess I don't need to square. I just, I'll just get it right up against there as close as I can. There's a lip around the edge of the box, anyway. So that looks like it's a pretty nice square corner to me. There's a lip around the edge of the box where the screw is going to be going in, so this shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty square to me. Put that back in place. Make sure I'm pretty good with my gap all the way around it. Hey, there's my rectangle and it looks like a rectangle right so first off I'm gonna give a shout out to somebody his channel is basement guitar superstar give the guy uh, some love check him out and uh, watch some of his videos sub to him and stuff I uh, kind of like what he's been doing how he's been doing it as far as some of his videos go and how he's been 
kind of presenting himself and everything. He's a pretty good, good guy. Pretty good guy. Pretty good guy. Yeah, pretty good guy. All right, so let's get the Dremel plugged in and start working on it. So I have a rounded cutting bit on the Dremel attachment to sit over this. And what I want to do is just kind of outline this thing and keep on going deeper and deeper as I go around. So you're going to see a lot of dust and, well, I'll try not to make so much noise. I'll put some music on. So here we go. So why do I like this epoxy resin so much? Well, here's a piece of epoxy resin that I took off of the wax paper. Now, this stuff is pretty durable. Now, it's still a little bit flexible because this is from the pour from the headstock, so the headstock hasn't really cured yet. But as you can hear, stuff is pretty damn hard. Now, trying to like take a hammer to this, it will dent it a little bit, but it won't chip. That's what I like about this stuff. It polishes really nice. It's like a nice solid plastic coating. So here is the battery box, all completed, finished. Fits are in red, just like a charm, nice flat flush. Don't have to worry about nothing. Got my hole drilled in there for the wiring. Went through the hole for the output jack and just kept on going in. Perfect spot for it. So next will be tomorrow to give this thing a whole complete sand down and I'm going to recoat the back of it. Probably not the front, but the back of it I want to give another coat to it because I ended up hitting over here a little bit with the Dremel, so I got to fix that. And it's just some, you know, stupid shit down here. Like I said before, the air bubbles over here I got to get rid of. I don't want none of that showing. I don't want none of that on this body. I want it to be a nice, clean, polished, glossy, mirrored, uh, glass-like finish, and durable as all hell. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll catch up with you later.